Howdy, in this video I'm going to introduce you to Python and then few packages that we are going to use uh, throughout the semester. Um, before we use Python first, we need to find the Anaconda Navigator. Uh, it, it might be at your start uh, menu. If it is not there, you can find uh, the Anaconda in, uh, installation and then choose the Anaconda Navigator. Uh, in this class, uh, when I'm teaching the material, I'm going to primarily use Jupyter Notebook because it makes it, uh, life easier when uh, running, executing lines of the codes. But if I was writing a code to do certain tasks from scratch, then I would probably prefer Spider. Uh, that's just my preference. But um, for now, let's go and launch the Jupyter. So once Jupyter is running, we are going to see something like this. I have a lot of... Um, I guess um, folders so I'm gonna create a new notebook for Python 3 and now this is the line so here we could start implementing our uh, new lines of codes last time we did uh, hello world and this time I'm gonna do something different say that a is equal to 1 and then I want to know what is a value to execute a line of code I need to press the shift button and then the enter Right. So it says a is equal to 1. I could also create a new variable, a new one, and this time assign a, a string uh, text basically to this variable saying that it is hello. And same way I can print this uh, new uh, one saying print and um, a new. Right. So uh, basically in Python, when you press the tab uh, in a function, it shows you all possible uh, things you can uh, add it to this uh, basically print area. Uh, I uh, pressed the A first and then the, did the tab and it showed a long list. Then I added another letter and it showed me just a uh, trio of the uh, options available to me to print at this time. So. For me, I want to print a new one, so I'm going to just say enter and then shift enter to run it, right? So uh, as we checked the last time, our um, Python installation is working, Anaconda installation is working. But this is not what we want to do throughout the semester. So first, let me clean up this uh, couple of lines I entered. Uh, easiest way is to just uh, double click the D key on your keyboard D D D D D D and then it is cleaned up now uh, throughout the semester we are going to use a couple of packages uh, in Python packages are already built in function like Excel but more complicated and uh, more useful functions so we don't need to for example write our own code to do a regression analysis but um, use an, a package that has the regression analysis capability and just do the analysis that way right so we don't need to do uh, mathematical coding and so forth uh, we are going to use a couple of functions uh, or packages the first one we are going to use is called pandas now when we have the data set uh, on a file on a on our computer first thing is that we need to transform this data to a uh, computer uh, memory and pandas is a very powerful tool to manage data frames right so we are gonna use pandas python uh, library uh, packages a lot and these packages are developed by volunteers or uh, i guess crowd crowd coded in one sense open source project so anybody can go uh, do add uh, make some changes and then uh, basically uh, publish it right so this is the first one uh, we call packages by saying import and then the name of the packages now the best thing about the anaconda is anaconda already installed these packages so I just um, don't need to install them again uh, if you check here actually if that wasn't there I had to do some code you know line in the uh, CM command menu to install these things right so uh, that way I'm importing the pandas. I just don't want to import but also make sure that it is easy to uh, basically call these functions and I'm gonna say as pd right 
what it means is that in the future whenever I say PD uh, the Python is going to know that I'm calling the function from the pandas and it's gonna uh, work that way right so that is the first one this the second one is matplotlib and this is for uh, Python 2 dimensional uh, plotting uh, figures and we are gonna use it uh, uh, throughout the semester together with another um, a visualization tool call or package called Seaborn. All right, so let me go uh, import the uh, matplotlib as well. So the same code, say import mat uh, plot lib, right? And I'm gonna actually call pyplot within this uh, one, and I'm gonna call it as plt. Now. This PD and PLT, these are commonly used abbreviations for pandas and matplotlib. Uh, you could choose anything, uh, you know, but um, using common naming uh, uh, practices allow others to check your code very easily, right? Otherwise, if you say pandas as ZYD, then whenever somebody sees ZYD, they need to go figure out what that is. Uh, but um, because mostly people use pandas as PD, now everybody sees PD, they know that you are using a pandas function, right? So please use the common naming um, procedures. Seaborn is another uh, data visualization tool statis for statistics, and we are going to uh, use this one as well uh, throughout the semester. Um, and then the first uh, thing is, again, we need to call this uh, function. as CNS right that's called this uh, Seaborn uh, of course I need to add the as here right as CNS so next time when I need a, a Seaborn uh, function I can just call it with the CNS right the next one is numpy that we are going to use throughout the semester and this is for array the uh, n-dimensional arrays right uh, it is useful for linear algebra and uh, array management um, and it is a good idea to be familiar with it also scikit-learn which is the data analytics tool uh, package uh, relies on this uh, pandas and numpy to actually work All right so with that let me actually bring the scikit as well uh, scikit-learn this is the machine learning as i mentioned it has already a lot of algorithms built in so we don't need to record the regression uh, algorithm or clustering uh, rather we will need to just choose which uh, regression or clustering algorithms we want to implement and then it gives us the results then we need to interpret the results and so forth right uh, scikit-learn is going to be the primary focus for us doing the da um, data analytics right so let me call and call the numpy as well or import the numpy as well uh, and then right uh, will i will finish this video scikit requires a little bit more work so i'm going to explain that one in a future video